just a little indentation right there. Clean it just a little bit. Now I notice that the face is a little odd right now. I want to straighten yeah, the face out a little bit here. First I want to straighten out the nose. I'm not sure. It looks like there's more on this side than there is on this side. I'm not sure. No, I think it is. Of course, the camera. I found out that the camera is a lot. You could see it a lot better than I can. It's something about a camera that just picks up things that are not right. You're probably hollering, look out. That's not right. And I'm saying, oh, yes, it is. So I'm going to shrink it just a little bit here. Not too much, just enough to like get it started if it isn't good enough. That's a little better. Cheek is still a little... <sighs> a little better. Okay, I want to form around the cheeks a little bit here. The cheek, like I said, I don't want to work with the eye yet. I want to make sure other... I is probably one of the one of the last things on the face is the face that I would do. <sighs> Round off that cheek. And then with the nose, my eye line and the nose don't match up. <sighs> but we'll do something about it. Now we're gonna work around the, um, the nostril and the cheek. I'm gonna put I'm gonna take a little more wood off on this side. I think the nose is a little lopsided. So we're gonna go straight down. Then we're gonna go in an angle like this because we're gonna form another chip. And then we cut right there. So the angle comes into the cheek, around the nose, and on top of the mustache. I mean, it's not as clean as I want it, but um, can you see it at that? Can you see it like that? I cut into the cheek, down on the nose, and into the beard, mustache. <sighs> oh, I just can't get that chip out of there. Get out of there. Same on the other side. Now, I just straightened the nose out a little bit, so I'm not going to cut as much on the nose as I did on this side. This is two birds with one stone. I, I created this, this, uh, this chip while fixing the nose at the same time. This gives a, a shadow by the nose and around the nose. Everybody has it. Some by a, a larger degree. I mean, older people have it by, by a lot more. And can you see that shadow in there? Same on both sides. Now on the nose, I want to go right here again. Bring back that 20 degrees. I like doing that 20 degrees in the first place, like I showed, just to get your get a feel of what's going on, even though it's gonna, it did disappear. On the nose, let's kind of triangular it or pyramid it like by taking this corner off. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a nostril. The nostril comes around. This is going to be a scoop. I want you to watch this first. It's going to come down at an angle like this at an angle. And then I'm going to curve down and then scoop back up. Curve down and scoop back up. Other side. See, first I started like this, curve down and come back up. Almost like an S. That's the best way to put it. And you form some sort of nostril. This again, you really got to have a uh, very sharp tip knife. Same with this thing here, it's just a scoop right here. 
And you can uh, translate this by using a chisel. Make sure that chisel is really sharp too. And then I want to go this way, scoop, scoop this way from here by the nostril and scoop in this way. It's a very basic nose. I mean, when, when you got a carver carving this size, if it's fairly basic and it looks like a nose, you know, it's good enough. I'm just going to bend this a little bit here. Did I say bend it? Cut it. And do any other cleaning up and shaping. There's that chip again. Get out of there. <laughs> so now we're getting it all set. We're getting close to doing the eyes, but I still want to give it a check, make sure each cheek looks one isn't uh, higher than the other. This is a good time to take a look. I'm going to just trim this a little bit because that's trimmed. Okay, I want to bring the mustache out a bit. By just simply taking the tip of your knife, be very careful you don't break the tip of your knife while you're drawing deep. And make sure you're you're careful and you don't let the knife slip. It's not so much slip on you. I mean, yeah, you don't want to get cut, but you don't want it to slip and ruin your your carving. And I'm going to go underneath here. I'll cut that a bit. Just to get it out of the way. Mustache is a little lopsided too. I keep working with the mustache. Cut that out. That out of there. Again, you're only cutting as far as you want to cut down. You don't just want to keep cutting. You just only want to cut as far or as deep as you want that to go. I'm going to trim this just a little bit here. <sighs> of course, it does not have to be overly perfect, but... Now I want to finish off the cheek and mustache together. Going this way. Like I said, I like to take the knife to do this it's more natural than using a v-tool. V-tool was just to get it started just to see and here with a knife you can get it deeper and you can really bring, bring the cheek out. <sighs> you see that there? See the shadow how the cheek is just comes out sharply. Same with over here. Careful I don't slip. I'm using the way I naturally hold a knife is to create this V cut. Now, of course, you can see my hand is in the way. If I slip, I'd hit my hand, but unless you are really, really sure, you know, well, of course, you should get the hand out of the way, but I've got to a point where I, I just know where to start and where to stop. And then I want to bring that the mustache at an angle this way so the bottom part sticks out more so the cheek sticks out and the mustache is kind of tucked underneath the cheek but the mustache comes out in which the beard is tucked underneath the mustache you get to do a little bit of erasing here cleaning here. I think there's a little edge there. I'm not too concerned about that right now because that's a mustache, so that's a that's hair. 
Now, if you want to, you can either leave it like this as far as the mouth, or we can put a little mouth in there. We can do that. <coughs> uh, you got to make sure that the mouth is going to be uh, in the right spot because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw that in there. And before you draw yours in there, make sure you look. I mean, you don't have your mustache down here, and the mouth is right here. There's the nose, there's the eyes, and here's the mouth. You want to make it as realistic, even though this is a character, as far as bringing everything up to the right spot. So that's about the right spot. Now you can, and I do, I draw actually underneath. I think the mouth is a little smaller than I wanted it, so I'm going to so I'm gonna draw this underneath. And I'm going to have to be doing some trimming. That's a bad thing. I'm going to have to be doing some erasing, and, and the mouth is kind of delicate. This is kind of a delicate thing here. Now you take your knife and you go right there where the, the mouth and the mustache meet. Same thing. Now we're going to draw, and we're going to draw away from the mouth, you know, like how we draw away from the, the nose. Now we do the same kind of trimming as we did underneath the mustache, we just trim a little more. And because that hand is in the way, this is going to be a bit difficult. Again, you only want to cut as far as you want to cut. I mean, just don't keep pushing and then your knife goes sliding. I'll do a little bit of cleanup on the bottom. And before I finish with carving the mouth, the opening part, I want to clean, I want to erase this. This you really need is a sharp tip. Or if you want to take an eraser, if eraser will do that. Okay, good. Then. That came out. Okay, one last thing we want to do. Now you look at that and you say, well, it looks like he's just sticking his tongue out like a dog. Well, let's just get, let's put the mouth in there. Now watch the tip that you don't break it. You got to deep it. I cut it deep here that you don't want to break the tip. And then you're going to cut another chip. A nice deep chip. Is that a little better? Now you could shape it. He's just kind of just doing his thing here. I mean, he's uh, not really saying, oh, I think he's just breathing along here. You can make it, you know, probably a, a circle like he's saying, ho, ho, or maybe a larger to make it like he's smiling. But he's just puffing away here, trying to get the, get the tree and the goodies to the, to the kids. I'm just doing a little bit of cleaning up, a little bit of fixing here. <sighs> okay, not bad. I want to take a quick look at the beard and uh, and hair before we again do the eyes. I'd still like to make sure things are pretty well set. And let's do this. Let's set this in a little better. in a little bit.